Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica. Got a little bit of a treat for you today. We're going to be taking an updated look at Battle Tryst on the 3DO Konami M2 arcade boards. We showed this game very early on in the life of our channel because we did start out with 3DO M2 content. And while I do update the M2 playlist when I get new software or information in, it is really few and far between at this point in time and we're doing a lot of different things on the channel. But the reason I'm coming around to look at this is because a member of my Discord, Megalo, found a very old Japanese blog where they said if you press the start button during gameplay, you can battle in a first person mode. And obviously you're seeing right now, that is exactly what we're doing. I don't know that anybody knew about this minus the blog writer because all the promotional material for the games that Konami sent out all the playthroughs up until this point, including my own, I have never seen any of these camera angles. And you can see now that we're fighting in a 45 degree angle, kind of like an over the shoulder view. And this is just something that I did not know existed. And it's really fun to be able to find out after all these years, this rare arcade game has one more real random thing to kind of bring to the table. But as we're gonna show you in just a second here, Konami never mentions it. So I don't know how you'd be able to find out about it. I don't know if it was even intended to be used or it's the holdover. The move strips do not in any way, shape, or form mention this view mode. The flyers, all the photos from the game are all in the standard view. It was only this little Japanese blog where if you scroll down, you'll find a reference to it. And this must be really old. I couldn't find a date on it, but based on what it looks like, you're going to realize that this was written a long time ago. But it says if you hit start during gameplay, you can battle in first person mode. And here we are doing it again. Now, I will say it's not a very good thing to do. You can't see your moves. It's really hard to input anything. And when you do any sort of grapples or grabs, the camera just goes completely crazy. And I don't know what the function of this would be if you're having a two-player match. One person would be fighting coming towards the screen. Another person would be fighting in first-person mode. I don't understand the intent behind it. And the fact is I've even looked through the manual. And here's the top-down view right here. And there is no reference to this view mode. It's like Konami added it in and then decided that they didn't like it. So they didn't actually reference it being available. Yet they still left the function tied to that start button. And that's the funny thing is that the start button on arcade games just functions after you put a credit in. You press start, the game starts. It's not like a console where you hit pause and you can walk away from it. So I never hit the start button when I played this game outside of when I had to, you know, put a new credit in or start a new game because why would I actually hit that button? But you can see here in that third person mode, the third person mode works really well. The top down view is really interesting. The first person mode, it's really fun to look at but it's not the greatest to play in because honestly, it's just really hard to input buttons. You can't really tell the spacing of your character and I'm much worse at the game when I'm not fighting in the traditional view. But it is a really interesting addition and how often do you find out that one of your favorite rare and random arcade games running on the 3DO M2 hardware has something that you don't know about. And that was the most interesting thing for me was just to be able to discover that this game had one more secret that nobody knew about. I tested this on the JAC revision. I didn't test it on the JAA revision, but I'm highly assuming that it works across both because the patch notes for the bug fix, the JAC disc, only have issues about the game crashing when you select two of the wrong characters at the same time. But you'll see it functions perfectly fine. And I don't know if this is a holdover for when they were playing a console release, just to give a little bit more flavor to the game because off the top of my head i don't really remember any other arcade fighting games that had these sort of hidden view modes now if you know of any leave them in the comments below i'd love to hear about it i'm sure konami's not the first person to do this but definitely this was a revelation to find out that you could actually fight in the first person and the models really do hold up you get a lot closer look at the detail of them and i think konami definitely chose to use the first person mode to some interesting degrees as you'll see here momentarily the camera definitely focuses downwards at like a 45 degree angle versus actually looking at the characters faces and i think there was a little bit of some intent behind there if you catch my meaning while still keeping the monetization folks happy but it's just fun i love discovering new things about arcade games and thanks so much to megalo on my discord for finding this and bringing it to my attention because a lot of times searching out information for these old games, especially ones that just released in Japan, can be very difficult. Now when you do that 45 degree angle, you can see that building in the background there. It doesn't really scale perfectly well with the play field because it's got that infinite play field kind of tech going on. So some of the graphics do break down a little bit when you change the view modes, but it's just really interesting. It'd be fun to have a two player game in that first person mode. And I'm almost wondering, 
did Konami intend on having this as like a two-player linked cabinet where you could both be fighting in first person and you'd be able to see your opponent in the third person head-on? Because that would be the most logical use case that I could think of is that it was going to be like a showcase cabinet with two monitors. Because you can see here, as these grapples are occurring, the camera gets just really weird and you clip right into the character. So it kind of seems like maybe something that wasn't even finished. It's just a holdover from development that was never removed because maybe the code would break if they removed it so it was just easier to leave it in and never reference it. And I firmly think that might be the case because neither the manual, the move strips, the flyers, any ads in Gamus Magazine, any reviews of the game never once have a screenshot from anything other than this side view. But short of that, it's still Battle Trist. It's a really good game. It is not a great game. It's probably my least played game on the 3DO M2, Konami M2 platform. I appreciate it, but it's just not uh, as deep as I would like a fighting game to be. And for some strange reason here, especially on the last boss, is almost able to block everything you throw at it until you just spam that one command through. And I'm spamming here because let me tell you, fighting at these angles is a very difficult thing to do. But short of that, that's our little update to Battle Trust. Apparently had a completely hidden view mode that nobody knew about until Megalo told me on my Discord. But thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope you like this little look at Battle Trust. We'll be back on Sunday with another episode in our mainline Sunday series. And we'll be back on Tuesday as well. But hey, if you ever have any crazy tips on arcade games that I don't know about, leave a comment below. Join our Discord. I love talking to everybody about this. And the more people that are involved, the more information we get. Because if it wasn't for Megalo, I would have never known this existed. And I would have never been able to bring it to you guys. But that's it. If you could do us a huge favor, go down below, hit like, and subscribe. Definitely helps us out. It takes a lot of time to capture and make these videos. But short of that, we hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.